a nice little vibe. The wind in the hair. Okay. beauties happy saturday so today oh my gosh do you see that thing that my lens just did i'll be sending it to canon soon because i dropped it and i feel like ever since then it's been acting weird but happy saturday today's saturday it's actually evening i spent the entire day um creating content so um this week has really given me an opportunity to kind of like do some reflecting on like 2021 and 2022 and kind of just like seeing like um, where I am and where I want to be and also I think like doing some doing some reflection on my goals for 2023 has made me realize like I kind of stopped doing certain things um, that were helping me pretty much um, reach my goals and so I figured I'm gonna start doing them again because the systems I had in place really helped me a lot and it's time to get back to those. So for instance, uh, when I was working nine to five in 2021, uh, Saturdays became my content day. So Saturday morning I would wake up and just create content. I would pre-plan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, hold on guys. Okay. I definitely need a Carmel. Um, for my car for this camera because I don't have one and so I every time I try to vlog in the car the camera end up ends up falling because I don't have a car my oh my gosh it's like blurry what's going on it's literally focusing on my face but it looks blurry let's try this. okay so yeah I definitely need a car mount because I don't have one for the Canon camera and it doesn't stay on the dashboard like my Sony does without a mount. But I was just saying like how I need to go back to creating systems that are going to help me to reach my goal. And one of them is to be consistent on, on YouTube and on Instagram because I enjoy creating content. It's fun for me. Um, and I miss like interacting with the community here on, on YouTube and on Instagram, but on YouTube too. And so... I was looking back on like what worked for me and I remember that was my thing was like Thursday, Friday or even other days of the week I would plan my content for the weekend. I would plan the outfits, I would plan the outline, everything and so what I would do is Saturday mornings I would wake up, I would take a shower, eat breakfast, do my hair and makeup and I would just create content for the day. And so, because I want to be consistent again, and I would batch too, I would try to create like at least two YouTube videos, um, a couple of, you know, pic pictures for Instagram and the blog. And because I want to stay consistent, so I'm like, all right, it's time to get back to that. So this morning I woke up at seven, um, I got ready. And by eight o'clock, I started doing some recording because I was doing like a mini vlog um, so I did that and then I recorded a a few like uh, beauty reels and TikToks because I want to create more beauty content um, this year so I did those and then I recorded one YouTube video which I'm I'm so proud of myself because today 
I managed to record about five pieces of content, which is pretty, pretty extreme, but we did it. And so I decided, you know what, since I did all that, let me go and edit um, because it's fairly early at six o'clock. So I hit up my friend, Justin. And so we're at the coffee shop, we're at Wild. And we're just going to have a chill editing day and also just catching up and yeah, so I'm just, I'm feeling really good. Um, so yeah, wanted to share how I plan on staying consistent with my goals in 2023. This is one way is to have and a batch editing day. Okay, we're right here. I have been trying to get back to like my um, Saturday of like recording. This morning I woke up, I've just been like creating content all morning. Yeah. And so I was like done at like five ish. And I was like, I, I'm proud of myself, but I told myself I wanted to be done by five. And then that way, like, if I wanted to do anything later on, I could, you know what I mean? So I ended up finishing it. I was like, let me just see. I know it's like last minute. I was like, let me see if you want to just like get together. I said I wanted to get a drink today. But yeah. I was just like, mm -hmm. if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. Yeah. And then when you said, hey, it's so good. This is like, that guy telling me, get a drink. So I was like, yeah, I can do it. really good session of working and catching up <clears throat> I still have more editing to do oh my god oh. Oh no. I have more editing to do but I am kind of hungry oh well bo we're both hungry and the thing is like there's no there's nothing available over there because um, I don't eat pork and a lot of the options they had had pork and the two options that didn't have pork weren't available. So we're gonna like try to get a little bat bite to eat. I mean, it's early, it's only seven. <clears throat> and if anything, I'll finish editing tomorrow. So we're gonna get some food. It's down there. It's something like that's not it. Hey, look at the bikes. I'm literally buying. What's that one at the end? Where? What's this one called? <laughs> I'm like, are we walking to something? Where's Taft? Do you see something called Taft? Taft? I see the treadmill. This is. Where is. Okay, here it is. This is what I need. We're trying to find this place called Highland Park. Um, arrived. Four in. It says I'm arrived. We arrived. Four in. You are here. It's over here. So then, okay, the GPS is wrong because it says we arrived. <laughs> so we need to walk. Okay, so you are here. We're here at the street. Okay. So we need to go back the other way. Because this is Highland. Highland's at four. four. No, oh, we're closer. Yeah. Okay, well, it's at the corner. Over okay. There. Yeah. So we need to go back. No, it's down there. We can walk through here. No, no, no. But like on the other side. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then. <laughs> you were. <funny. laughs> Apparently. Don't, don't do. It. I, I wasn't gonna say it, but um, okay. I was looking at the wrong letters. Look, I'm so short. There y'all. <laughs> I had to hold the camera. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just to be at his level? I'm screaming! I think they closed. She was sitting right there. They might have closed. That's why we can't find it. No, it says open! This is a nice little vibe. It's a cute. And the weather is really nice. It's, yeah, yeah, like the, nice. the wind in the hair. Okay. We're just gonna follow people that look like they, they're going to eat. They didn't have their ponies. The funny thing is, when my phone said you have arrived, they were right because we were here. We were at the end. If we were right we were here. At the end. We I didn't were? think to look at well that way to the left. Oh. Uh,
Hi beauties, good morning. Today is Wednesday, what's today's day? January 11th. So today's Wednesday, I am working right now. I just made my breakfast and my coffee. I've been using double espresso to make lattes. So today I'm having like an iced, not iced, uh, a salted caramel one with almond milk. Oh, I think I need to add more salted caramel because it still tastes a little bitter. But I just wanted to check in because I feel like it's been a while since I've like come on and talked this week. I just feel like I've kind of just been sharing and not really like talking just because I've been doing a lot. I'm really trying to be consistent this year on content. So I've been trying to juggle that between work as well because work has been crazy busy, especially during the holiday season that tends to be the like busy peak season. And then um, just a lot of like work like requests coming in and I'm working on a project that I have to present and I'm like kind of nervous but it's given me an opportunity to like be seen because um, I haven't presented in a while and I'm working on a Tableau dashboard which will be fun because I've been enjoying learning Tableau and doing a lot of visualizations so um, I'm excited about that but I'm nervous about um, presenting of course uh but let's see what's been going on so this week i did share like it really was just me cooking all week i really didn't even like come on and talk to you guys it's just been cooking because um like i mentioned in a tiktok video like how i'm just trying to show up for myself and do the things that i enjoy and one of them is cooking and creating content and just really trying to take care of myself so i've mostly just been doing a lot of cooking and um didn't really like say much or anything like that i did share a little bit about like my fitness routine in the morning too my 5 a.m routine i didn't go today because last night i decided i was like oh i want to have some wine and i haven't had red wine in a while and i feel like i woke up with a headache um so i didn't go today but maybe i'll go later i don't know because i did my i did my makeup this morning what do you think it's all it's just like my simple uh, beat look although this time I used a mattifying foundation I used the Dior backstage no I used the Dior forever stay matte um, because I would like to um, get some content in during my lunch break so I did my hair and makeup and everything but the problem is like the sun is not out so you can see it's very cool in here and I really wanted it to be more warm I have lights so we'll see hopefully that helps because I want to try to shoot some fashion content i've been doing a lot of cooking content lifestyle content beauty content and i don't have much fashion content on instagram or tiktok so i was gonna do that and possibly do one for youtube as well um yeah that's basically it. oh and then yesterday i did my nails so i did my nails at home again um because let me show you guys let me come to like some lighting so you could really see so i did do my nails oh my gosh okay so i did do my nails at home again because the nail prices the nail salon prices are just out of control and i'm like girl you definitely can do them at home i did have them longer i did do tips but i bought the tips they were too long and i just really didn't like them so i ended up just taking off the nail and cutting my nail really short because the last time i got the nail done they drilled them too far down and so right now I'm just like rebuilding, regrowing my nails out. So I'm like, I'm just going to leave them short until they grow out. So that's um, what I did yesterday. I was going to record it, but to be honest, <laughs> I was just like not in the mood to do anything like recording wise yesterday. So I didn't record it. But in a future vlog, I am going to record my whole nail routine because i think it's therapeutic i think it's fun i mean it's not for everybody i'll be honest but i enjoy it and i'm really just enjoying the fact that i could just save my money because this is crazy like i don't mind getting them done for like special occasions or if something's going on or just like if i really want to get them done like for instance i love a french manicure i i don't think i could do one myself i could do a french pedicure but not a manicure so like if i wanted french i would probably go to the salon and get it done um but yeah so i've been enjoying doing that um and i know you my guys might have some questions so this is opi I put in neutral i did put four shades um four light shades just to really build up to it and i got it from i forget where i got it from but i'll link it below 
but I will also link a dupe that I found on Amazon that I've been using. It's not as opaque as this one, but it's so similar. So if you can't, for whatever reason, get the OPI, I will leave the one on Amazon below. But I've actually kind of been liking short square nails. I typically get almond and longer nails, but I've been enjoying this. But my teams is blowing up. <clears throat> um because i'm in like four or five different chats and so i will catch up with you guys later hey good morning Happy Saturday. I sorry if it looks weird. I can't like cannot see like my contact is bothering me out of this eye. But today is Saturday. It's in the afternoon. I think it's like two or three o'clock. I'm headed out to go run some errands. Gonna go to Target, um, either Apple or the Verizon store. Returning Amazon order. Maybe go grocery shopping or pick up stuff at the grocery store. And yeah, just gonna be like a little errand day. Um, my gosh, I like I can't see out of this eye, it's crazy. Guys, don't mind my hair, okay? I finally figured out what the problem was. It's just that I'm not familiar with HD lace. And I think I might have to like actually glue it down and not spray it down. I know it's like kind of embarrassing. I've tried everything I can to hide it. But anyways, let me show you guys my quick outfit of the day. I like can't tell if I'm in focus because this whole eye is blurry. Kind of wanted to just to keep it pretty casual. So I have this set that I got from Shein like a while ago. Um, I just love how comfy it is. It also comes with a matching um, top as well to zip like a matching hoodie, crop hoodie, but I didn't feel like wearing that. So I have that on. I have my jean jacket from Zara. I also have these Pumas on that I got from Amazon or DSW. I am also pairing it with my Alma BB today. I know I keep saying like I'm, I'm wearing when I say bag. I mean to say I'm carrying. I'm really working on it. I'm carrying the Alma BB and the Damier Ben. I also have a Louis Vuitton bundle on. So that's that for fragrance. I'm wearing one of my faves and it is the... It is the Maison Francis Kirk Jean. This is the Baccarat Rouge Saint Saint-Calent. Um, that's what we're wearing today. So I will see you guys when I get to my first day.
Hey guys, so I am at Neat Bunch right now. We're about to get some food. It's so loud, you guys probably can't even hear me, but I was at Target and for whatever reason, their system wasn't working. So we went to three different machines to finally check out and the guy ended up giving me 20% off just because like an inconvenience thing. So I went in for two pillows some new sheets and then I need to eye drops because my eyes were, were really dry this morning. So I ended up getting one pillow for free. So I'm not complaining. I just hope I really like them because I think I only tried memory foam once. Like my other pillow, the Coop Holmes one, is a memory foam. But it's so bad. That one you can like build it up where this one is like an entire foam. So I don't know how it's going to work out. But that'll be interesting to see how it how it goes. Yeah. Hungry. I ended up getting chicken quesadillas. Coming up in the next video, I share an easy glueless wig install featuring this 20 inch deep wave hair. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see beauties in the next one.